Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, how's, how is everything? Tal como, como estuvo su día? How was everything, people? Give me one second. I'm just loading these things. And I don't know why it doesn't appear to be connected. I am in this. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Just give me one second, it's very loaded this thing. And here it is. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, so I guess it's is it. Okay, so good evening, everybody. Uh welcome back to this uh, video conference. Let's remember that tonight we are starting the second week, right? So this is going to be the first class from week number two, all right? So we are going to be doing a series of activities that are going to be, you know, like uh, as part of the process, we're gonna continue talking about the simple present, but now with a different kind of, uh, um, you know, like, like point of view, with a very different kind of point of view. So we're going to have a lot of things to practice. So let's just start over. So I'm going to pass the attendance list just to start with this. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Okay, good. Augusto Cesar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this person is not here. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Let me see. Elizabeth Joanna. Present. Ah, okay, excellent. Evelyn Jamilet. Evelyn Jamilet, is it here? Okay, no, she's not here. Let's move. Freddy's Eliseo. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Freddy Ernesto, I think this person is no longer continuing. It is Daniela. Mm, okay, so she's not here yet. Jacqueline Janet is not here yet. Karim Janet. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Liliana Laura. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Great. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Let's see. Maria Isabel. Present teacher. Okay. Good, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Uh, Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's move. Marvin Oswaldo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. You're there. Let's move. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. You're there. Rafael Alejandro. Okay, so Rafa is not here yet. Rudy Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Uh, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Wilber Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, good. 
And we got the last one, Wilson Arnaldo. Okay, which is not here. Give me one second, I need to check something. Uh, Sonia, Elizabeth. Uh. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Sonia, I, I want to ask you something. Uh -huh, she is grande. Uh, I want to ask you something, Sonia. Uh, do you know Wilson Hernaldo? Es compañero de nosotros, licenciado, pero creo que no va a continuar el diploma porque no se ha conectado en ninguna clase. Ajá. Sí, pero no, no sé si está en otra clase porque hay otros que están en otra clase. Quizás le, le vamos a preguntar. Pues la verdad no, no creo. Está porque... en este grupo. Sí, la verdad no creo porque me aparece en el listado y si aparece en este listado significa que no está, está en este grupo. Exactly, has to be okay. here. Y es que estaba revisando y veo que trabajan ajá, en el mismo. mismo sí, lugar. Lo, lo que pasa es que ahorita hay una auditoría del departamento de ellos, quizás también bien apretado con eso. Ah, ok, so cool. that's the reason why uh -huh. this thing is happening. Ok, anyways. Probably in a future we we will meet him. Okay, so we are going to start with the class right now. Give me one second, people. Okay, so it, it might be kind of uh, familiar the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight with you because we have been discussing this like a couple of classes ago. So I guess you will know what we are going to be talking about. Just give me one second. I don't know why this thing is getting stuck. Jesus. I hate when the computer turns so slow. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna show you up what we are going to be talking about, guys. And this is going to be uh, our topic for tonight. Okay, me confirman que pueden ver mi pantalla, please. Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So tonight's topic is going to be how to use frequency adverbs. Okay, now I go back to you guys and ask you, what is a frequency adverb for you? Son como adverbios de frecuencia en donde especifica que tan frecuentemente hacemos algo, por ejemplo, usualmente, eh, nunca, generalmente, siempre. Ah, ok, very good. Thank you, Freddy. Ahora en inglés. Ah, no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you for your information. Actually, yeah, what you're telling, it's, it's kind, of, uh, kind of true. Okay, a frequency adverb, it's basically those kind of adverbs or words that tells you how frequent you guys do an activity. Okay, as, as uh, he was saying, right? It, it shows uh, how regular you do an activity. So we're gonna go into that uh, in the next couple of slides, okay? Okay, good, let's move. What's the most relevant that we're gonna be doing uh, uh, throughout this class? As a class agenda, got, we're gonna have a review from the previous topics something that we were just discussing last night, if you remember. Then we're gonna have the introduction sure. to okay? frequency adverbs. Uh, now the thing is that, I, I don't know why, there's like kind of a smoke in here. Es que no sé, creo que afuera al otro lado están como, como haciendo algo, humo, pero está llegando acá y, y arde los ojos, como que pica los ojos. Oh, yeah. like no, mentira, smoke? se anda por la novia. 
<risa> ¿Cuál novia? Esposa, diga mejor. <risa> no, 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 no. Ya no es libra ahí. Exacto, ya no, no Le libra. sugiero un cartón de huevos para el 14. Tan Ay, igual señor. de caro. Ay, señor. Que cualquier Ay, otro regalo. Es cierto. Con dos cartones de huevo queda perfecto. <risa> Eh, tomara bien su consejo, lástima que no, 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 no podría. ¿Por qué dice Isabel? Nah, because, because my wife is not here. She's in the, in, in the United States. Yeah, so. Ah, uh, really? Uh, this uh, is the reason why you, you cry. Ah, ya también es tan caro. <laughs> Actually, actually, in there, by the place, by the place where she lives, uh, 24 eggs, it costs like, how much? Like $23. $23. Yeah, like $23. For 24 eggs. Yeah. Just imagine how expensive. One dollar. Almost a dollar, exactly. Uh, that's, that's too much. That's too much. All right. So, but let's continue. No, but don't, don't, don't think that it's, it's because I'm crying. It's because of that. I don't know what's going on outside. Jesus. All right. So, let's continue. It says, we're going to have the introduction to the frequency adverbs. Right after that, we're going to have some questions using frequency adverbs, right? We're not just going to see positive statements. We're just going to uh, be practicing also question forms. Uh, right after that, we're going to have a series of activities and we are going to end up working in the manual, right? In a couple of activities that we got in there. So this is the most relevant that we are going to be discussing for the rest of the night. So let's go people. Remember, If you have questions, turn on your microphone and ask. Okay. Frequency adverbs. I'm gonna put this definition, all right? Uh, this is like the exact definition as Freddy was saying. The only thing that he was doing in Spanish, right? But this is like, now it's in English, Freddy, all right? Good, so take a look at this, guys. An adverb of frequency or frequency adverb describes how often an action happens, right? So in this case, it describes how frequent we do an activity, okay? So aquí básicamente describe que tan a menudo, okay, nosotros hacemos una acción. So that's what it talks about in here. All right, so let's continue with this. Now that we got this definition, do we have a structure for this type of expressions? Yes. Tenemos una estructura, okay, para este tipo de mm, adverbios, por así decirlo, para denotar la posición donde deben de ir dentro de una oración, okay? So, let's go over that. Okay, and this is the one. Cha, 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 cha. Let me see who can help me out with this. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver los que tienen la cámara apagada les voy a preguntar. Miguel, read the, the structure, please. Ya le encendí. <laughs> Demasiado tarde. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> First, the subject plus frequency adverbs plus main verbs plus complement. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, are you sick, Miguel? Yes. <laughs> I mean, is it, and, I, and I was like, is that Miguel or, or is that a robot or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm a little sick. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because your voice has changed a lot. <laughs> okay, good. So thank you, Miguel. So this is the structure that we generally use to create sentences using or including, in this case, frequency adverbs. All right. 
So we've got the subject. Remember that the subject, it can be any pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, or a proper noun like Leticia, like uh, Freddy, so whatever, right? So a proper noun. Plus, right after that, okay, right after a pronoun or a noun, we go uh, or, or we set up the frequency adverb in this case, okay? That's the position. Right after that, we got plus the main verb, the verb that indicates the action of the sentence, remember, okay? So in this case, and at the end, we got the complement, right? So we've got that the structure. Subject plus frequency adverb plus main verb plus complement, okay? Do we got an example? Yes, of course. Check this out. Marvin, tell me a reading, please. I always go to my house after work. Okay, good. Thank you, mister. So uh, take a look at this. I always go. All right. If you see the presentation of that, give me one second. I need to... Okay. If you take a look in there, I got I specified the way how we got this. You got I, that becomes the subject. Then we got always, that in this case is the frequency adverb, right? Then we got go, which is the main verb. And then we got to my house after work, that becomes the complement of the sentence. Okay, so this is the way how we use frequency adverbs inside sentences. Now that we get to know this uh, structures, what are those frequency adverbs that you people remember? No, what are those ones? I got one example. Right. Always. Right, Ali. Okay, good. What else? Any other one that we know? Algún otro que conozcamos? Sometimes. All right, good. Sometimes. Tell them. Tell them, okay, good. Continue. Often. Okay. Good. Never. Okay, never. In the mass. Usually. Yeah, okay, usually. There you go. What else? Never. Never. Rarely. Normally. Okay, rarely. There you go. Normally. Normally, okay, good. Uh, yeah, normally we can use this as a frequency adverb. Mm -hmm. And we got often. All right, good. So uh, I, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put them in here. So you just got my, might have uh, more ideas about that. Okay, so I got another one in here. Check that out, Liliana, help me out reading this one. You never do the chores, as I say, the chores, okay, chores. Uh, you never do the chores. What is never, oh. Liliana? Nunca. Nunca. Okay, good. Como cuando le decían antes, Liliana, vuelve conmigo. Never. No, 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 in that case. Now, remember, never, uh, algo curioso con esto. Listen, cuando usamos los frequency adverbs, por lo general, listen up, no usamos verbo auxiliar para crear oraciones en negativo. Algo que quede bien claro. Listen up. ¿Cómo creen ustedes que usamos, eh, o, o cómo creen ustedes que colocamos oraciones en negativo usando un frequency adverb? Bueno, por lo general, esta oración que estamos viendo acá, que acabo de, 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 de presentar, esa es una oración en negativo. Aquí no necesitamos de un verbo auxiliar, no necesitamos de do not o does not para crear oraciones 
en negativo. Aquí con never ya tenemos la oración en negativo. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque never es una palabra negativa. Significa que no, o nunca hacemos una actividad. ¿Ok? Entonces recuerden, cuando usamos un frequency adverb, never es una palabra, ya, ya es una oración negativa. Si never está incluido dentro de... Teacher, I have a question. Ya, yeah, let's go. Eh, y cuando hablamos de la tercera persona, eh, ¿se modifica el verbo? That's correct. Okay. Eso lo, lo vamos a ver un poco más adelante, pero eh, yes. Thank you, Carol, for uh, bringing it up. Eh, 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 con la tercera persona aquí eh, no va a importar el hecho de que vaya el frequency adverb vaya en medio entre el sujeto y el verbo. Eso no va a, a incidir en nada para que el verbo se modifique. Siempre se va a modificar el verbo en este caso. All right. Ya vamos a ver un par de ejemplos más adelante. Related to that. So, let's continue. By the way, guys, what is yours? ¿Qué quiere decir esa, esa segunda oración? You never do the chores. Tú nunca haces las tareas. Ok, there you go. Thank you. Nunca haces las tareas. En este caso, chores no es tarea de, de, de la escuela, right? Something. Nah. Eh, chores se refiere a tareas de la casa. Como barrer, limpiar, eh, trapear, whatever. All right, all those things. Do the general Ay, Yo pensé que nos estaba tirando una indirecta. A todos, no ah, oh, no. Las indirectas vienen, las indirectas vienen más, más despuesito ahí, más, más a futuro, así como, uh, como Elizabeth is sometimes irresponsible. Solo por un, para, para un ejemplo ahí, right? <risa> no, hey, hablando de eso, ahora que me, me, me lo mencionan, me lo recuerdan más bien, todavía me quedaron pendientes algunas personas con la tarea. Y tuve que así enviarla al reporte. All right. Les dije, people, que para mañana teníamos, bah, para mañana, para ayer teníamos que, que haber terminado con la, hasta la tarea 5. Así que para los que no se han puesto al día, háganlo, háganlo. All right. Porque cuando ya vayan a revisar a esa plataforma, que pues vean que sí han trabajado. Ok. You have already working there. Now, let's move. Ok. So, we got this chart. Check this out. Esto ustedes lo tienen en su manual. Ok. Esto lo, lo extraje de ahí, del manual. All right. Esto para no estar cerrando la presentación, luego ir al manual and luego come back in here. Check this out, people. It says, use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Básicamente la definición que tenemos ahí, la que dimos uh, previamente. Y los frequency adverbs, por lo general, eh, digamos que los medimos en porcentaje. De mayor porcentaje a menor porcentaje, 0%. Así eh, siempre se van a representar este tipo de, de adverbios, ¿ok? And we got, at, as 100%, we got always. Always is basically representing... When you do an activity every single day, all right? Every single day. ¿Qué es algo que ustedes hacen todos los días? Bueno, más adelante me lo van a mencionar, ¿ok? Más adelante me lo van a mencionar en una actividad que vamos a hacer. All right, but we got an example in here. And I would like, eh, quiero un voluntario para que me lea esa oración que está ahí. A la par de always. Teacher, me. Me, teacher. Okay. Right. Alguien dijo mi primero. ¿Quién dijo mi? Carlos, I think it was. Fue Rafael el que dijo primero. ¿O Rafa? Yes. Was Rafa? Ok, Rafa. And then uh, Isabel, you're going to read the one that represents the 90%. Ok. Go, Rafa. Ok. Um, always, I always get up at 5 o'clock. Ok, good. I always get up at 5 o'clock. What does it mean? It means that this person does this activity every day. Okay? Every day. Every single day. Good. Take a look at the frequency adverb. It goes where? After the subject in 
before the verb. That this is the verb, right? Get up. And this one over here is the complement. Remember. Okay. Good. Representing the 90%. What does it mean a 90%? Remember, in here we're talking about something or an activity that we do mm, not every day, but most of the day. Probably from the seven days, we do this like six days a week. Okay, and that one is usually, right? Usually is our week out. Ah, bueno, nomás le digo que va a leer y se me pierde. Ah, Carlos, help me out, Carlos. No, probably she got busy. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, he usually drives to work. Okay. He usually drives to work. If you take a look in here, si pueden observar acá, esta parte acá, estamos hablando ya de una tercera persona. Llevamos el, 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 el you can see adverb uh, in here, pero el verbo va modificado. If you take a look in there, the verb is modified, right? So in that case, I want you to pay attention to that, right? So this is a third person example. Okay. So that's sure. yes. Uh, in the in the first sentences, uh, which one the the bird? Uh, because uh, I see a combination or, or it's like it's a like, phrasal this verb. One, this one is in this the, one. And the bird is get get. That's the verb. Aquí tenemos okay. una, un, un verb plus un preposition. Esta es una preposición. Verb plus preposition. Get up. Este es un verbo compuesto. O oh, como comúnmente se le conoce en inglés, un phrasal verb. Right? Pero el verbo central ahí es get. Okay. Good. Now, let's continue. Now, representing 80%, we got normally, right? Normally. Okay, and for that, Elizabeth, lady in black, did you help me out reading this? She normally checks her email. Thank you, thank you. She normally checks her email. So you see, in here we got check with S, right? We got the word check with S because in here we're talking about what? We're talking about a third person, okay? So just keep that on mind. Now let's move out. Get him? And we're in the next one using often that represents at 70%. Eh, era la sometime, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, no, often, often. 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 I often have breakfast at work. Thank you. All right. Very good. I often have breakfast at work. What do I want to say with this example? ¿Qué quiero decir con esta oración? I often a menudo tomo el desayuno en el trabajo o desayuno en el trabajo. Okay, very good. Yes. A menudo desayuno en el trabajo. All right. Very good. So, let's move. Right after that, we got in a 50%, I mean, the half of it, we got sometimes. What is sometimes? A veces. A veces, okay, very good. We got a veces. 
Nice. Okay, Wilbur, help me on reading, please. She, she sometimes uses the microwave. Uses. Uses. Yes. She sometimes uses. uses. She sometimes uses the microwave. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mister. What is the microwave? Microondas. Microondas. Cool. She sometimes uses the microwave. Ah, a veces usa el microondas, right? Okay, if you take a look at here, it happens the same. We got the position of the uh, frequency verb between the subject and the main verb, right? Right after that, representing a 30% a 30 we got occasionally. Listen up, occasionally, right? That's, that's, that's occasionally. Okay, what is occasionally? A veces. Okay. Ocasión. All right. Good. Ana, help me read an example from this one, please. Hey, teacher. I occasionally work overtime. Okay, good. Okay. I occasionally uh, work overtime. Remember, overtime means extra hours, okay? It means extra hours. Okay, now let's move. Representing a ten percent, we got seldom. What is seldom? What is seldom, people? Seldom. Ah. Huh? It's come. It's how. Rara uh, vez allá cuando se cae un burro. <laughs> what is that, man? That. <laughs> okay. I, 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 that's the first time I heard that expression, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. In that case, it's Salvadorian. <laughs> Salvadorian. Seldom, in this case, it's like, aha, uh -huh. rara, rara veces, right? Or raramente, when we do something, right? It's seldom. Okay. And we got that example. Freddy, help me already. I mean, yes, we seldom take calls at work. Okay, very good. We seldom take calls at work, right? I mean, raras veces tomamos llamadas o recibimos llamadas en el trabajo. Okay. And then we got a 5%. Acá eh, las representan dos. Uh, frequency adverbs, expressions, pero ambas vienen a dar a lo mismo. Ambas son las mismas. Hardly ever or rarely. Hardly ever. Listen. Hardly ever or rarely. In this case, it means raras veces. Okay? It's kind of similar between uh, rarely, hardly ever, or seldom. La única diferencia es que hardly ever or rarely Eh, es como para cosas que, 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 que si se ven que hay en inglés hay una hay un dicho que, 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 refiere, que se refiere con eso y eso es once in a blue moon once in a blue moon Literalmente ustedes pueden decir esto quiere decir una vez en, en una luna azul, pero ajá. Y algo así viene. ¿Cuántas veces sucede que hay un caso de una luna azul? Un caso de luna azul, Uf, una vez cada año. O una vez cada dos, tres, cuatro años. Right? So in this case it's like en raras ocasiones. Ok. So that's the way how we use that one. Okay, and we got the example in there. Now, Mrs. Flores, can you help me reading that one? He, uh, yeah, that one. Uh, he rally, never. No, 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 that one, that one, yes, sir. He rally has really? no sé cómo se, cómo se pronuncia. Okay. 
Rarely. 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 He rarely has conferences. 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 He exactly. rarely has conferences. Okay, very good. He rarely has conferences. Y ven acá. Uy, no sé. Si ven acá, tenemos. Si ven acá, tenemos has. Has represents the third person on the first half, okay? Remember. Okay. And a zero percent we got never. Recuerden que cuando creamos oraciones negativas usando adverbios de frecuencia, el único adverbio de frecuencia que podemos poner como en, en una oración negativa es never. Ok. So, entonces, eh, recuerden, toda oración que tenga never es una oración en negativo. Ok. Ahora ni si dibujas en participación. I never get flat to work. Uh, in this case, late. Late. I never late. get late to work. Okay, good. What is late, Leticia? <laughs> you get it? Late significa que cuando, supongamos que usted entra a trabajar a las 8 de la mañana y son las 7.55 y todavía esperando el bus. ¿Qué va a pasar? Tarde. Exactly. So late is tarde. Tarde. Okay. okay. There you go. Good. So we got that representation in there, people, from the most common uh, frequency adverbs. Entonces, acá ya básicamente tenemos una representación un tanto gráfica, por así decirlo, en porcentajes sobre los adverbios de frecuencia. Ok. Good. Do you have any question with this? Something that might not be clear uh, for you right now with this? Yes. Yeah, Everything is ok. Ok. Good. Good. Uh, let me see. I'm going to ask these people. Rudy, Daniela, Freddy, Isabel. I don't know if it is Isabel. Isabel is there. Uh, do you guys have any question with this? Oh, everything is okay. Everything is clear. Everything is okay, teacher. Look, it's okay, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so in here, I, uh, what I do is it's just I just wrote a couple of extra examples for you guys. Cha, cha, cha. Good. Isabel, let me read in this one. Sara always goes out on Saturday evening. Okay, very good. Sara always goes out on Saturday evenings. Okay, if you take a look there, the verb goes is modified, right? The verb is modified because in that case, we're talking about a third person, okay? Remember that, guys. Remember that. Good. Now, let's move. Okay. Uh, let me see who can help me out with this one. A person that has not participated that much in here. Cha, 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 cha. Daniela, are you there, Daniela? Yes, it is. Yeah, help me out reading the second example, please. Um, Jenny. Uh, in this case, James. James, okay. James, boyfriend, usually up from work. Okay, all right, there you go, thank you. James' boyfriend usually picks her up from work. Good. What does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir esa oración para ustedes? 
James. El novio de James. Ajá. Usualmente la recosta en el trabajo. Because you oh, from. Ok. Eh, el novio de James. O la va a traer al trabajo, como ustedes quieran eh, decir, ok. Very up for Very good. If you take a look in there, the bird picked up, in this case, pick is modified with the S, okay? Picks. Good. Next one, Evelyn, let me read. Ben and Emma often go for lunch together. Together, okay, very good. There you go. And we continue with that. Remember in here, the verb is not modified because in here we have two people, Ben and Emma, all right? That represents a plural. Okay, good. Let's continue. Rudy, help me read it, please. I frequently play soccer. Okay, very good. I frequently play soccer. Freddy, help me reading. Me, teacher. Ah, no, 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 no. Freddy Lopez. Ah, yeah, I mean, finally, Freddy Lopez got connected. That's que tenemos Freddy's con S y Freddy sin S. Okay, I mean, that's cool. Are you there, Freddy? Can you listen to us? Creo que no nos escucha. Okay, Freddy, let's do it, man. Your, your tocayo okay. is not there. Okay. Send text message. Okay, there you go. They usually send text messages. Okay, nice. Okay, give me one second. I think we got this one. Uh, I don't remember what did I put. Uh, right after this, questions. No, 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 before doing questions, I'm gonna put this ones. I don't know if you're taking notes about that. No sé si están tomando notas sobre eso. Yeah, you're doing it? Okay, perfect. Yes. Sí, yes. <laughs> insane. Okay, good. Uh, let me know when you finish. Jesus Christ. Yes. I'm finished. Okay, very good. Okay, people, listen up. No, no, no. I think I'm going to explain this and then I'm going to work. It will be easier for me and it will be easier for you. Let's continue, people. Everything is okay in here. No questions, no doubts about this topic. Nothing? Okay. Teacher, so no. Teacher, solo en la tercera, eh, ¿por qué no se, eh, el verbo no se modificó, perdón? Easy, mister, porque acá tenemos Ben y tenemos Emma. We got two people, so that is plural. Aquí es como que ya estemos diciendo they. Ok. Ah, si okay. solo, ok, ajá. Si, yo, si yo vengo y elimino acá a Emma. Sí, ajá. Entonces, sí, lo sí, estaba ahí. tomando como tercera persona, los dos. Y, uh -huh. y no era así. Ajá, era de. Exactly. Uh -huh. Ok. Very Thanks. good. Ok, no problem. Let's continue. Questions. Ok, so we have been discussing uh, right up to now positive statements and negative statements in somehow using never. All right. But now. How can we ask questions using this structure? ¿Cómo realmente nosotros hacemos preguntas? Yeah, that's the correct form. Hacemos preguntas, all right, usando un frequency adverbs. Por lo general, let me see, how much are we up? Por lo general, hay una estructura que se utiliza para crear preguntas, ok? Eh, y no necesariamente en la pregunta vamos a utilizar un frequency adverb, sino más bien en la respuesta, usted va a estar obligado a dar esa respuesta usando un frequency adverb por lo general. Entonces, that structure is 
how often. Ok. Entonces, generalmente cuando iniciamos una pregunta con how often, casi que estamos obligados a responder eh, con un frequency adverb. All right. So we're going to see a couple of them in here. Vamos a comenzar con la estructura. We're going to see the structure about how to create this type of questions. Check this out. This is the structure that we need to create this type of questions. Okay, and which one is that one? You got how often. Listen up. How often. Aquí no es how, aquí no es how. Okay, sino how. How often. Plus, do or does. Aquí sí ya usamos un verbo auxiliar. En preguntas, nada más. Remember, only in questions. No in negatives. Okay, in here we can use do or does. Remember, do, si es para preguntas con you, we, or they. And does, para preguntas con he, she, it, o un singular noun, okay? And then after that, we got the main verb, verbo principal. Everybody knows what is a main verb, así que todos saben ya que es un main verb, así que no lo voy a estar repitiendo en este caso. And then we got a complement. ¿Para qué nos sirve el complemento? Simplemente para hacer más específica la pregunta. And then the question mark, right? Plus the question mark. Example. Check this question out. Rafa, help me reading. How often do you eat in a restaurant? Okay, very good. So you see, in this case, what are we asking? How often do you eat in a restaurant? ¿Qué tan a menudo comes en un restaurante? Okay. Entonces, in here, we generally use frequency adverbs to answer this question. So, the answer will be like this. Liliana, help me reading. I sometimes eat a restaurant in a restaurant. Okay, very good. I sometimes eat in a I restaurant. Some... Sometimes, yes. Okay. A veces como en un restaurante. Right? So you see? So in this case, this is the way how we answer this type of questions. Nice, let's continue. Karim, let me read in this question, please. How often does she visit her in now? Okay, thank you, Miss. How often, listen up to this question. How often does she visit her in laws? Hmm. Estoy preguntando acá. Uh, ¿Con qué frecuencia eh, ella visita a sus suegros? A sus suegros, a la familia de sus A la familia de sus Exactly. All right. Her in-laws es básicamente toda la familia, ya sea del esposo o de la esposa, right? Aquí en su caso, de eh, pues, Ok. And we got the answer in here. You see, Marvin, help me reading. He frequently visit the East Line. Like uh, her in laws. Her in laws. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. So this is the way how we answer this type of questions, right? 
Yeah, her loves. She frequently her. visits her in loves. Yes. Uh, what does mean the this uh, a middle line in, in between the in in loves? Ah, you mean the dash, el guion? Yes. Uh, you can say like dash. Or oh, you mean, ¿qué significa esa línea? Yes. No, la in línea, this case, la, la, la línea en medio. Exactly. No, generally, uh, that one goes to separate, all right? And to mention that two words are together to form a different meaning. That's it. And in this one, uh, we got them in several words, actually, all right? Aquí simplemente ese guión indica que dos palabras están siendo unidas para formar un significado diferente. ¿Por qué, qué, por qué, por qué diferente? Porque si ustedes ve, eh, buscan en un diccionario la palabra law, ¿qué significa law? Significa ley, ley o leyes. Ley. Exactly. Entonces, in, ¿qué significa? Dentro o... o... En... Oh, eh. En dentro, exactly. So in this case, esa pequeña línea, lo que está denotando es básicamente que las palabras están juntas para formar un significado diferente a lo que ellas significan. Right? Por ejemplo, cuando dicen abuela, mother-in-law, ¿verdad? Mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, exactly. And all the in-laws. Possible. Okay, good. Are you understanding that? Yes. yes teacher. Okay, perfect. Teacher. Next. Yes. Teacher, mm -hmm. como en todas las eh, preguntas, eh, mm -hmm. la respuesta, han been dicho en las preguntas anteriores que habíamos estado eh, realizando, uh -huh. de how many. Eh, la misma eh, eh, regla aplica en, en la respuesta que el verbo se, se modifica ah usted dice en la respuesta exacto sí, sí, sí. en la respuesta porque no lleva ningún tipo de auxiliar el verbo se modifica pero en la pregunta ya llevamos el auxiliar por lo tanto el verbo no se modifica All right. Okay. Se modifica nada más el auxiliar. Ok. Mm -hmm. Just to keep on mind. That's the mm -hmm. only thing that you got to remember. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Now, let's move. Okay. Good. Now, we're going to go and work in the manual. This class is going to be like kind of easy in this way because we're going to go over a practice now. Good. So I'm going to stop sharing this. And I want you to open up your manuals in page 19. Lo que nos vayamos a la página 19. Find your manuals. Give me one second. Ah, oh, yeah, let me take it here. I'm gonna show it up here. This page specifically. Okay, good. What do we have in here, people? In here, we have a short representation of how to use how often and then put in some frequency expressions in the answers, right? So, ya vimos un poco entonces, gramaticalmente hablando, la posición de las frequency expressions or frequency adverbs. Y la posición de una pregunta utilizando how often. Ahora la vamos a poner en práctica un poco con la conversación acá, ¿ok? With the conversation over here. So, now, let's go into this. It says, listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Let's go over this. This is a conversation between John and Anne. ¿Ok? And John says, listen. How often do you check your email? 
How often do you check your email? It says N, every two hours. And you? Every two hours. And you? It says John, well, well, I try to check it as often as I can. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? It says, and I often call them. I often call. Aquí no es call, es call, call, okay? I often call them once a week, once a week. On Monday, on Monday, but I usually, but I usually call them on Friday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order, to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? It says, John, yes, I always call them. Yes, I always call them. First thing, first thing in the morning. In the morning, I believe, I believe it is important, it is important to have, to have contact with them, contact with them all the time all the time and says you are right you are right okay good from this short conversation that you got posted there people do you have any question tenemos alguna pregunta con respecto a vocabulario pronunciación de algo que no comprendamos o oh, everything is okay. O oh, todo está bien. Ah, Jesus. En la tercera donde dice John, eh, will I try, era la pronunciación, try. Yeah, this try. one is try. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. There you go. Um... Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What does mean as or how how I use how to use as? Okay, as is como como como. Okay. But um, then... But in this case, let me see. Which one is it? Mm. Donde está? And um, oh, you're right. Let me see. Here. John. John. Ah, here, this one. I try to yeah. check it as often as I can. Tan pronto como puedo. Esta es una expresión. As often as I can, tan pronto como puedo. Okay. O sea, so, la palabra en sí sí es como, ¿verdad? Pero ya, ya unido, es, es, que, es que dependiendo del contexto a veces suele ser uh -huh. como, a veces suele ser tal, a veces suele ser tan, dependiendo del contexto. Uh -huh. Ok. 
Pero le, el, el significado más común que le podemos encontrar es cómo. Ok. Thank you, teacher. There you go. Good. No more questions. Ok. Good. Jesus Christ. Give me one second. My computer is dying. Okay, good. Let's continue. So I am going to stop sharing this and I am going to send you guys to practice the short conversation. Solo necesito saber quiénes son los que están active para no mandarlos con alguien que tal vez esté de oyente. Uh, Miguel, can you participate, Miguel? Yes, teacher. Ah, yo pensé que... Ok, good, good. Yo pensé que... No, teacher, no puedo. No, no pero you're okay. You're okay, mister. Good. Uh, Karim, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Ok, cool. Uh, Rudy and Daniela, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Nice, nice. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Freddy Lopez, are you there or you're not there, mister? So I can include you in the conversation practice. Okay, anyways. So he probably is not there. No, probably he's working. So that's why. All right, so only Freddy is no longer. Creo que hay 16 entonces. Let me see. Exactly to practice. I'm going to create eight groups on here. And I'm going to sign them automatically. So, lo vamos a mover a alguien. Give me one second. Number four. Okay, good. Uh, son las nueve tres. A las 9.10 los traigo de regreso a la sección principal, ¿ok? Quiero que practiquen eh, bien esta conversación. Una vez como John, una vez como Anne y viceversa, ¿ok? I will go and check over your um, practice in there. Démosle aceptar ahí, por favor. En la score practice. Hold B to broadcast your voice to break up rooms. Hold B. I don't understand it that good, but I'm gonna try it. Ah, okay, good, perfect. Uh, well, I try to check it as often as I can. Um, how often do you call your clients? I, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Uh, yes, uh, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Oh, you are right. Okay. Uh, we, cambiamos. Change. Change. Okay. Uh, you are John and me, Anne. Anne. How often? Uh, John. Uh, no, Anne. John, John, often do you check your email? Every two hours, thank you. Uh, well, I try to check. Uh, to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to, to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always, I, I always, always call them first thing in the morning, I believe it. It, I believe it is important to oh. 
Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them all on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? How often do you call clients? Hello, teacher. I often call them once a week on Monday. <laughs> Um, a first day to chat, they call them. Do you call them? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe is it is important to have contact with them all uh, the time. You are right. Right. You are right. Yeah, you are right. You are right. You are right. Mm -hmm. Comience usted otra vez, ¿sí? De John. Dice, how often do you check your mail? Every two hours, and you? Well, I find to check. Call them? Call them? On Friday, on Friday. On Friday. To check their order. Do you check call their them? order? Do you clients? Do you call clients? Clients. Yes, I I always I always I always call them first thing first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. All right, good. You are right. Okay, I look at it. You're right. Oh, you are right. You're right. You're uh, right. You're right. Okay. Es que la, la pronunciación sí me cuesta bastante. La, <laughs> y como a lo estoy agarrando de cero, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Se no. Tiene bastante va con todo. Ver. Va con todo. Vea, me va muy bien así. No se desanime y dele que eso aquí, la práctica es la que lo, uno, lo hace mejorar. Right? The more you sí, practice, right. The better you will be, okay? Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. Yes. Okay. Okay. I often call the once a week on Monday, but I usually can do Friday to check her order. Do you call client? Yes. I always Yes, I always. Me puso nervioso. Me está viendo. Teacher, hágase invisible, por favor. Sí, tápate los ojos. Vaya, take it. Vaya, ya estuvo. Vaya, vaya. Te gaspo. Ok. Yes, I always call them them freedom. Ok. Yes. Va, pues ya. <laughs> yes, I always call them for email. Every two hours, and you will I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them on a week on Monday. Good. I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always ca call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's, it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, very good. There you go. Now, let's go back to the main section and you will read that in there, okay? Okay. Nos vemos allá.
it's missing more people, right? Yeah, you see, it's not like, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wait for uh, these people to get connected and then we're gonna continue with the practice. Give me one second. Got just 11 people? Jesus Christ. Where are the other ones? Mi compañera quedó sin internet, licenciada. Ah, ok, ok, so she was... Ajá, por eso regresé a la sala principal. <ríe> sí, me quedé yo sola ahí. Es que no hay buena este, cobertura de internet. Mm, ah, con razón. All right. Mm. No problem. Ah, yes. so... Ok, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Keep calm, I'm here. Call me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. okay. Right. And I was like, hey. keep calm. All right, give me one second. What happened to my computer? I mean, it's driving crazy. I don't really hate this. Give me one second. Jesus Christ. Cha, cha, cha. Give me one second, people. This is the I mean, so Leon, I was there. Okay, it is loading. Give me one second. I am getting problems with the with the computer, I guess. I need to like restart this thing. Okay, I just need to. Un segundo, estoy reiniciando el el manual. Okay. Okay, it's okay. It's here. So I'm gonna project it. Uh, what page it was? Okay, good. Who wants to be the first volunteer pair that wants to participate over this? Me, me teacher. Okay, me who teacher. are you working with? Uh, me, with me. Okay, let's go okay. people. Listen up, listen. Okay, me. Uh, 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 mm. one, one, one thing, one thing before you start, listen. Uh, cualquier cosita, palabrita que, que vayamos pronunciando mal, no quiero que se me vayan a sentir mal si los corrijo on the spot, ¿ok? Porque eh, es, es bueno que vayamos eh, en, en eso, de que si nos vamos a equivocar en, en algo, on the spot significa al instante, en el momento. ¿All right? Entonces, no quiero que, que, que me lo vayan a malinterpretar y decir, ay, el teacher me está corrigiendo en frente de todos, bla, bla, bla. No, all right? I'm doing it because I want you to practice uh, the correct pronunciation of the words, ¿ok? Good. Let's go, mister. Okay, uh, I will be John. Perfect, let's go. Uh, how often do you check your email? Every every two every two hours, and you? Uh, well, I try to check it as often as I can. Um, how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Oh, you are right. Okay, very good. Thank you for your participation, Wilbur and Carlos. You did it excellent. Okay, who wants to be the next volunteers? The next pair of volunteers for that. Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. Who were you practicing with? It is Daniela. Okay. With me. Let's go. Okay. How often do you check your mail? Every two hours in June. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? 
I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Clients? Yes, I always call them first things in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, you are right. I mean, it's the first thing that I see you, Daniela. Okay, good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, good teacher. All right, good. Where are you from? I mean, where do you live actually? I. Yeah, you. Where do you live? In Apopa. Jesus Christ, Nadia de Oriente. Okay, good, perfect, man. <laughs> okay, anyways. Thank you for your participation, guys. You did it excellent. Now, let's move. Who's next? Who wants to be next? Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. Who were you, work who were you working with? My partner is Miguel. Okay, with Mike. Okay, let's continue. I will be young. And how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often often do you call your, your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Okay, very good. You did it excellent, guys. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be next? Me, teacher. Okay, go, Mr. Marvin. Okay. Uh, are you young, Marvin? Oh, okay. No, I think Marvin. Ah, no, yeah, he's okay now. Okay, let's go. How often do you check your email? Email? Okay. Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check chicks uh, uh, often as I can. You how often do you call your play players? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first three in the morning. I believe I believe it is important. Hey, what? Uh -huh. I believe it is important. I believe it is important to have con contact with them all the time. Very good. You're right. Okay. Ese you're right me sonó más a pregunta. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like that. All right. <risa> ya, a veces, a veces la entonación nos, nos suele eh, como dar otra pauta cuando estamos en un spoken uh, language, ¿ok? Yeah, ok. Thank you for your participation, guys. You did it excellent. Ok, good. Who's next? Sonia, nosotras. <risa> Ready. Casi se Thank sale you. la pantalla, ¿ves? And John and Juan. <risa> yes, ok. How many often do you check your email? Give me one second. Como, how many often? How many often? Huh? No. Often. How often? How often? How many often do you check your email? Yeah, listen, listen. How often? How many? How often? Many now. Many now. No how many. Do you check? How me. often? <laughs> I sleep. <laughs> You're sleeping. How often do you how often do you check your email? Oh. Every two hours. And you? 
Well, well, I try to check it uh, as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call, call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe in, in important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. <laughs> good job. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Con con un inicio un tanto raro, pero you did it excellent. Es que son de la confusión sueño. Aquí a men. A lot of many. Exactly. Y allá en el background ahí de ella alguien diciéndole no, it's not like No, hombre. La audiencia aquí que sabe inglés. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Es que soy la única que no sabe inglés en mi casa. Really? <laughs> ah, okay, now I pero, see. Eso va a cambiar, teacher. No se preocupe. Yes. Yeah, it has to change. Exactly. It will claro. change. Okay, good. Who's going to be next? Thank you, by the way. Thank you, thank you to you both. Uh, who's next? Or who wants to be next? Me. Okay, let's go. Yes. Let's go. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you? Well, I try to check check it as often as I can. Um how often do you call your clients? I <coughs> call the one a week. <coughs> Once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their own. Do you call clients? Clients? Oh, I yes, am. I always call them first first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have to have contact with them all the time. All the time. You are right. All right. Okay, you are right. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you to you both girls. You did it excellent. Okay, who's missing? Quien falta? Karin, Leticia. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. John, how yes. often do you check your email? Every two hours than you. Well, I really do check as often as I can, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Mm -hmm. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call. They fit the thing in the morning. I I believe it. I believe. Uh -huh. I believe it is important to have contact right day as they think. Okay, with you them. are right. Okay, you said you are right. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Karim, and thank you, Leticia. You did it excellent. Let me see. Uh, everybody has already participated, right? Nobody has stated with no participations. Todos participaron ya. Mana, Miguel, you haven't, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's true. You, you're the one that, that don't have to participate. Okay, alguien que me ayude a Ana participar, please. <clears throat> Any volunteer? <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I am. Who wants to say John or Anne? Anne. Anne. Ay, el de John no lo practiqué. Good. Let's go. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. 
And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them, call them first thing, first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with the them, them all the time. You all the time. Right. You are right. Eso mm -hmm. sí estuvo mal. <laughs> no, thank you, Ana. Thank you, Ana. Exactly. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for helping, uh, uh, <laughs> Ana. I mean, that was that was good. Thank you, Isabel. <laughs> okay, people. Now that everybody has already participated with this, what are we going to do? Listen up. Vamos a ir, vamos a retornar de nuevo con los breakout rooms, con las mismas eh, parejas que hemos estado participando. En el caso de Ana, si no se ha conectado la, la persona con la que estaba participando, eh, la voy a incluir en otro, Ana. Ok, just for you to continue up the practice, ok. Uh, I want you to go down. Ahora bien, ¿qué vamos a ir a hacer? Listen, I want you to pay attention to this. Porque sí vamos a ir a hacer varias, varias actividades ahí. Primero que nada... Quiero que me respondan estas dos preguntas. Estas dos preguntas son de la conversación acá. How often does Anne check her email? ¿Qué tan a menudo Anne revisa su email? Aquí lo van a encontrar. Luego, why is it important to check email every day? ¿Por qué es importante revisar el correo todos los días? Posiblemente lo ocupen acá o posiblemente ustedes pueden dar una respuesta adicional. It is important to check the email every day because it's part of, of the job, blah, 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 blah. Or pueden incluir un, un frequency adverb, okay? Good. Luego, nos vamos a venir a la siguiente página, okay? Esta tabla es la que vimos en la presentación. No vamos a, a, a detenernos acá, pero sí en esta parte acá, okay? ¿Qué, quiere, qué, ¿Qué quiero con esto acá? Listen, dice, complete a list of your activities you do in a regular week. Then write the activities next to the words that best describe how often you do those activities. Ok, acá, a pesar de que nos vamos a ir a trabajar con sus compañeros, quiero que acá personalmente, listen, es, this is personal, y los mando a trabajar en pareja por si alguien tiene duda, el otro le puede colaborar. Aquí quiero que ustedes me escriban una actividad propia de ustedes que represente cada uno de estas. ¿Con qué frecuencia ustedes hacen esas actividades? ¿Qué es ese algo que ustedes nunca hacen? ¿Qué es eso de que ustedes casi nunca hacen? ¿Qué es eso que ustedes algunas veces o a veces hacen? ¿All right? ¿Y qué es eso que ustedes siempre hacen? Acá, en primera persona. Ok, good. Cuando ya las tengan, bajan acá. Y este cuadro acá, aquí sí ya va a ser en parejas. Ok, este sí ya va a ser en parejas. And I'm explaining this in Spanish for you to understand better, ok? What are you going to do in here? Listen. Aquí lo que vamos a hacer es, si ven aquí dice, how often do you? Y luego tiene name. En name, en name. Aquí, como la práctica nada más es de dos, ¿ok? Solo vamos a ocupar dos recuadros. ¿Cómo así? Listen up. Acá, si pueden observar, dice, how often do you? Y luego acá completa una pregunta. Have meetings. How often do you have meetings? Esta es una, pre una pregunta ya completa. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo único que ustedes van a hacer? Me van a completar con un verbo y un complemento acá. Me le van a hacer un par de preguntas a sus compañeros. Supongamos que Isabel trabaja con Ana. Eh, Isabel pone acá. Acá, en la número dos. Le pregunta a Ana. Ana, how often do you... Go to the supermarket. 
Y aquí ya hemos completado una pregunta. ¿Ok? No es necesario escribir toda la pregunta. ¿Por qué no? Porque aquí ustedes ya tienen el inicio de esa pregunta. Miren, acá. Aquí lo único que necesitan es el verbo y el complemento para poder completar esa pregunta. ¿Ok? Acá. Acá las preguntas y la respuesta que me le dé Ana, por ejemplo, va a ir acá. Acá. En esta parte acá. Acá es donde dice name, me le va a poner a Ana, el nombre de Ana. Y acá la respuesta que ella dio. How often do you go to the supermarket? Y Ana posiblemente diga, I sometimes go to the supermarket. Y ya tenemos la respuesta de Ana acá. ¿Ok? Ambos participantes van a hacer las preguntas. ¿Ok? Sonia le puede preguntar a Wilbur, ok, ella hace sus preguntas y luego Wilbur las responde, Wilbur hace sus preguntas, Sonia las responde, ok, y las colocamos ahí. Esos son los únicos dos recuadros que van a utilizar. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Do you have any question? No question. Ok, perfecto. If you don't have any questions, en los dos vamos a dar la, la respuesta. Digamos así como uh, dice name, yo voy a dar una respuesta y voy a responder la misma. O sea, digamos, yo hago la pregunta y a, como por ejemplo Ana me responde y yo tengo que responder esa misma pregunta que no, yo hice. No, no, no. En usted, el otro. Tiene, usted tiene su cuadro. Usted va a crear las preguntas. Va a crear todas las preguntas, ¿ok? ¿Cuántas son las que faltan ahí? Son seis. Va, va a ser cinco preguntas usted. Eh, preguntas sencillas, no se vayan a complicar, ¿ok? Con esto. How often do you take a shower? How often do you eat? Bla, bla, bla. Preguntas así, ¿ok? Good. Que puedan ser sencillas para usted. Usted llena sus cinco preguntas, luego se las hace usted a la persona con la que va a estar trabajando. Y usted lo único que va a hacer es anotar la respuesta de esa persona en el siguiente recuadro. A la par. ¿Ok? ¿Vamos comprendiendo? Yes. Luego, esa persona hace sus cinco preguntas y se las va a hacer a usted y usted le da respuesta y esa persona la va a anotar. Eso es todo. ¿Ok? Good. Es como que, tuvieron, como que tuviéramos únicamente una columna de mail para la respuesta. Correcto, correcto. Aquí para no generar mucho, por eso no los mando a trabajar en, en grupos grandes, para que podamos trabajar así y podamos practicar más, ¿ok? Ya es que hay día. Ok. Me dijo que iba a estar como dice Evelyn también. Bueno, ya voy a ver con quién estaba trabajando ella, ok. Now. ¿Aceptemos, por favor, ahí? Evelyn, Freddy, okay, good. So I'm just gonna throw you up as a listener. Go to room three. Anna, Anna, Anna. La voy a mandar para. Sí. Room five. Let's go, Anna. Hello, teacher. Hey, what happened to you? Tengo problem. <laughs> Tengo problemas con el audio, jefe. Por eso no. No, puede, no pudimos escucharnos en el... Ok. En la, uh, 
but but you were with Freddy's, right? Freddy's, can you listen to us now? Uh, Miguel, ahora sí puedes escuchar. Sí, sí ahora sí, por eso nos regresamos para acá. <laughs> ok, bueno, <laughs> con ustedes sí no voy a tener vigilancia entonces porque no puedo volver acá a la main section, pero si gustan quédense trabajando acá entonces, ok? Thank you, teacher. Ok, good. Que no tengan All right. momento que, que uh -huh. el, el, el frequency adverb va a teacher have a question yes el, el, una duda con la respuesta de la primera pregunta eh, el frequency adverb eh, siempre va después del subject correcto eh, porque eh, how often does Anne check her email Mm -hmm. she, she every two hours. That's it. Or not. No, ahí ya no va a ir en frecuencia. Vaya. Si dice sí. every two hours, esa es la frecuencia con la que lo hace. Entonces ya ahí no hay necesidad de colocar eh, un frequency adverb. He checks her email every two hours. Correcto. Correcto. And, ah, and right. el every ya no. Ya no every es... two hours. Ese every two hours ya no es un frequency adverb, es una time expression. Ah, ok. Ah, ya estaba la duda. Exacto. Okay. 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 Entonces, mm -hmm. nos pasamos okay. a la segunda. ¿o? La segunda. Why is why it's, it's important to check the email every day? Every day. Yes. Ya, yeah, en el primer cuadro. En la siguiente sería why is why why is it important to check the email every day? Ahí le podríamos poner porque pueden mandar información para información de nuestro trabajo. Uh -huh. Algo así. De, por los contactos de Missy. Está bien eh, con nosotros, otra... Fisher. Perdón. Está Evelyn. Evelyn, Yamilet. No, ahorita ella está como oyente. Como oyente, dijo. Ok, 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 ok. De, eh, la otra sí sería en la página 20, donde vamos a llenar los, así, cada quien, ¿no? así aparte. La 20, espérame. Ajá, ahí tiene el número 4, lo que vamos a completar. Mm. Jesus Christ, ya solo nos, nos quedan 20 minutos. Give me one second. Voy a hacer un broadcast audio. Vamos a ver si esto funciona. La actividad de nosotros, ¿verdad, Che? Cada, este es el personal, ¿verdad? Sí. Jesus Christ, it doesn't work. Oh my God. Give me one second. It doesn't work. Okay. Let's do something, guys. Listen. Por motivos de tiempo. La parte en la que ustedes nada más iban a hacer eh, eh, el, el, lo personal, no lo hagan. Pasen a la última parte para que tengan tiempo suficiente, ¿ok? Esa okay. parte eh, la voy a postear nada más en la, en la parte de la plataforma donde les dije que íbamos a estar haciendo como una pequeña discussion. Ahí la voy a poner esa parte, ¿ok? okay. All right, good. Voy a comentarles a los demás. Hello guys, uh, I just wanted to say something. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, watching the time and it's basically like uh, less than 20 minutes to finish. So the part that, that I told you to do that is personally, don't do it right now. Do the last part, okay? For you to have time uh, to write down the questions and the answers, okay? The second part, don't do it. Do it the third one, okay? okay? Luego les voy a decir dónde vamos a hacer esa parte, okay? okay. Nada más, las preguntas de la conversación y luego vayan directamente a las... A las... Okay. 
a la Exacto. Rapidito, en la segunda respuesta. It's important to check the email because we it's get up to date. It's important to check the email because, because, because we get up to date. We get, get up to date. Es como nos ponemos el día. Es correcto. Yeah, yeah, up to date. Yeah. We, we get up to date. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Good. Entonces, vamos al, al, Third al part. Segundo. Okay. So you can have time. Part okay. three. Important. Is important. Because. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, one, one quick uh, uh, advice. Listen. Todavía están en las preguntas de la conversación. Sí, sí, uh, sí todavía. La parte que les dije que hicieran personal, no lo hagan, solo pásense directamente a la parte 3 cuando terminen eso, ¿ok? Ah, Para de acuerdo, yo voy a en esa parte. Por motivos de tiempo, ¿ok? Ok, ok. De acuerdo. Perfecto. Okay. The client. Um, Hello, everybody. Uh, listen, listen up, guys. Hey, one quick uh, uh, bulletin board. Listen, don't do the second part. Por motivos de tiempo, no hagan la segunda parte. Les voy a explicar cuándo la vamos a hacer y cómo la vamos a hacer. Pasen directamente a la tercera parte, nomás terminen las preguntas de la conversación. Ok. Ok. Cool. Okay. For you to have time. Thank you. Okay. Hello guys, listen up. Listen, listen, pay attention to me, girls. Por motivos de tiempo, ¿qué parte están haciendo ahorita? La primera, teacher. <laughs> The first one. Ok, as soon as you finish, nomás terminen, eh, váyanse a la parte 3, no hagan la 2, porque no, no vamos okay. a tener tiempo, ok? Ok. Perfecto. 1, 2, 3, 4. Vaya, yo ya tengo los, los míos. Ajá. Para que sea, ah, para que sea Ajá, ahí la cambia. Ah, pues sí. Yo estaba escribiendo Hello. al revés. Hello girls. Eh, uh, do you finish the first part? ¿Terminaron la primera parte? Eh, de las dos preguntas, sí. Cool. Y estamos en los las oraciones. En las oraciones de los adverbios. Uh, las personales. Sí. Ok, por motivos de tiempo, les voy a pedir que se paren ahí y comiencen la tercera parte. Esa parte, les voy a decir eh, luego cómo la vamos a completar, pero ahorita no vamos a tener tiempo para la tercera parte y me interesa que, que practiquemos más la tercera parte, ¿ok? Ok. A, la, a, la, a las preguntas, ¿ok? Ok. Completen na, nada más con un verbo y un complemento a la pregunta, ¿ok? Ok. All right, perfecto. 